So unfortunately, Link didn't listen to his elders, and he tried the evil drug known as marijuana, and he got permanently stoned. And now, he was turned into a grave for the rest of his life. So sad. Elves in chat. <laughs> Alright, what's up, you elegant eggplants? Welcome back to the Ocarina of Time randomizer. My name is Attacking Toucans. Hey, yo, ghost, stop hitting me with your lantern. That's dangerous. You might break your lantern. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go down into the royal family grave because we got Zelda's lullaby last episode. Now lots of people in the comments were like, Tyler, you are a lucky son of a bitch for getting Zelda's lullaby. And I know this opens up so many things. It opens up this grave, Zora's domain, lots of things and tons of dungeons. For some reason, Zelda's lullaby is using a ton of dungeons to open up stuff. It's... <sighs> I'm blessed right now, honestly. I am so freaking lucky. All right, so let's go ahead and get the sun song down here. Now, fortunately, we can't light these torches. We have Din's fire, because we got that last episode too, but we don't have the magic meter, so we can't use Din's fire, unfortunately. But it's okay. Wait, where's the other bat? I'm missing one somewhere. I hear it flapping around. Oh, it's up here. I found him. We're good. Come down, I can't, you. <laughs> I don't have any projectiles. Come down towards me. How come you always like come down, but right now you're not? There we go. Perfect. So, in between episodes, I kind of fixed the tracker. I kind of messed up a couple things last episode, but it's all fixed and everything. Now, I do want to point out, um, right about right here, these are all of the main songs we get in the game. I never really, like, clarified this, so I'm going to real fast. Um, so this is Zelda's Lullaby. This is Epona's song. Here we have Sun Song, Saria Song, The Song of Time, and... The Song of Storms, and then below it are all of the temple teleportation songs. And then a couple other things people question is this right here is the wallet, this right here is the sculptulas, and I think that's it. I think that's everything that people were confused by. Just wanted to clarify on that real quick. Oh my gosh, yes, we are so lucky. This is another great song to get. Sun Song, now we can easily change it from night to day. That's going to save me so much time. Oh, I am a happy boy right now. I'm the happiest toucan ever. Okay, let's go ahead and get out of here. And we can... And the redeads are frozen too, so... Yeah, things could not be better. And now that we have that, we're able to get an extra treasure chest in the graveyard. So, we're getting pretty lucky with this randomizer. Now, another one of my friends, Nintendo Capri Sun, he started a Let's Play of a randomizer as well. And... <laughs> He is not doing so hot. He is getting kind of unlucky. Luck is not favoring him. Lady Luck did not like him with his randomizer. I haven't quite watched it yet. I've watched like the first episode. Um, I'm gonna watch it. I'm, I'm about to leave on a trip to the West Coast in a couple days, so I plan to watch it on my road trip because I think that'd be a really fun thing to watch. Oh no! Get your gross skin off me, old man. Ugh, Redes are so gross. But they have some nice thighs. Dim thighs, though. Okay, I think we just play Sun Song right here to get our treasure chest, if I remember correctly. And also, lots of people <laughs> made fun of me for being excited that I was white, or that I had a white tunic in the very first episode. And that wasn't supposed to be a race thing. You guys don't have to always make it about race, okay? That's not what I meant, and you know it. Yeah, we got a piece of heart. And something else I'm going to add to this episode due to popular demand, and that is a blue rupee counter. Because for some people, for some reason, people want a measurement of my pain. I'm not sure what it is with you guys, but you like watching Let's Players be in pain. What is it with that? Why are you guys the way you are? Can you tell me? Alright, I wanted to make it... Oh, I didn't mean to drink my milk. We had full life. Man, Link is going to have the strongest bones. Speaking of strong bones... A couple days ago, I bought some calcium tablets because for some reason my knee's been hurting whenever I go on long runs. And my grandpa said that it might be because I'm not getting enough calcium. So I'm starting to take calcium tablets to hopefully help my knees not get in pain from long runs. So I really hope that works. And also, here's a little known glitch is you can get into this room just by climbing up as adult Link. So that's pretty nice. So we can easily get this heart piece. Winner! Wait, is it, why did it say winner? What? Oh, that must have been the that must have been the heart piece you get from the bomb shoe mini game. 
and it gave us the same text. That's hilarious. <laughs> I was really confused for a second, but normally you get up there with either the long shot or Kapora. Gabora flies you down as young Link from the top of Death Mountain. But, nope, we can just climb up there as adult Link. And also, it's our smelliest friend, Anju. She also gives us something. Normally, this is how we start the side quest to get the big Goron sword. But, we're just gonna get something else randomly. Oh my gosh, we got the magic meter! We can now use our Din's fire! Dang! This is actually turning out pretty great. Let's go back and light those torches and see what chest we got back in the royal tomb. Kame, Hame, Ha! That was fabulous, Link. Good job. Good job. Have you guys ever wondered why there's so many just random bones in this tomb? Like, I get it's a tomb, but why are there just bones scattered everywhere? I feel like I need some backstory. Wait, can we talk to one of these? Check. Those who break into the royal tomb will be obstructed by the lurkers in the dark. Is that supposed to be the Reddeads? I believe so. Oh. My. God. No freaking way. This is one of the best items we can get. It's on the top of my tier list. This opens up so much stuff. Holy crap. I'm so happy right now. Nintendo Capri Sun. I am sorry, dude. <laughs> I am so sorry. I'm getting so much more luck than you right now. I wish it wasn't this way. Well, never mind. I wish it was this way. I'm just sorry that you have to see this if you're watching. I know you watched the first episode because you commented. But, jeez. <laughs> what a good day. Anyways, now that we have that, I'm going to head up to Dodongo's Cavern. Because Dodongo's Cavern is way faster to do as Adult Link. Because Adult Link is able to skip half of the dungeon. Because he can just grab onto ledges and pull himself up. I'll show you when we get there. And... Now that we have the bombs, we can go into lots of the grotto. Oh, well, first off, there's a grotto right here. <coughs> oh my gosh. <coughs> I'm dying. Probably should grab a bottle of water. I'm thirsting up in here. So there's a hole somewhere right here. Normally you find this with the Stone of Agony, which makes your controller vibrate. But in this ROM hack, you have to just know where the grottos are. Um, you can find the Stone of Agony in this ROM hack. And what it does is it allow you to go and talk to the, I forgot what they're called, the Sheikah Stones, I think. There's like stones with the eyeballs on them. If you talk to them, they will tell you hints as to where important items are. Can you stop screaming? I'm not enjoying this conversation. We're getting lots of treasure chests now. The fact that we got the bombs is next level. Because now we can go to Zora's Domain, and we have Ruto's letters, so we can go to Lord Jabu Jabu. That opens up so much. I'm glad this is going well. Holy crap! We are getting so much good stuff! Normally, you do not get this many good things in a row. But, Lady Luck, she is DTF right now. She wants to get wet <laughs> with Link. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and head up to the Dongo's Cavern. Okay, real fast, I'm going to go ahead and blow this up because we have a Skulchula behind there. And we do want to get 50 Skulchula tokens. Oh, giant boulder, get away from me. Can I reach it? Am I able to hit it? I can. As a backup, I was just going to use <laughs> Din's fire. I never understood why you're able to climb up the back of this wall. It doesn't have any explanation. It's just a random wall that Link can climb up for no reason. Can't climb up any other wall, but for some reason he can climb up that wall. Hmm. Hmm. I could have do a PewDiePie face twist. And Dodongo's Cavern really doesn't take a long time as adult Link. We'll get through it pretty quickly. It'll probably take, I'm guessing, five minutes. Let's see if I'm right. We're at... Let me pull out a timer. Okay. Got a timer started. I'm measuring myself. I'm seeing if my prediction is correct. So, since we're adult Link, we're able to just climb up here and hit the switch. Normally, you have to walk all the way around and fight the Lizzafuls and all that jazz, but as Adult Link, we can just skip it. <laughs> and I prefer just skipping it. it. Saves a lot of time. You know what doesn't save a lot of time? It's platforms that take eternity to go up and down. They are not kind to us. I'm going to go ahead and break this wall. 
Now, the thing is kind of funny that Adult Link can't pick up Bob Bombs without the Goron Bracelet. You think he'd be strong enough by now? Although, I mean, I guess he was internal slumber for seven years, so he probably didn't get much of a workout in. The compass. Oh, look at this. King Dodongo just like grinning. I never noticed how grim he looks. Pretty creepy. I like it. I like creepy. Love creepy things. For those of you who don't know, my favorite movie genre is horror movies. Which I know isn't a lot of people's favorite movies because lots of people don't like getting scared. But I like getting scared. Something else I like about horror movies is I feel like they're the most inventive genre of movie. Because usually horror movies have lower budgets and they have to make up for it by having unique ideas. Lots of other movies don't really do that as much. They're kind of just more generic, but I feel like horror movies really have to think outside of the box to make their movies stand out. Because there's so many horror movies, you have to really think of unique ideas. And then, lots of horror movies recently, I've noticed, have been doing really well with cinematography. They've been like, especially movies like The Conjuring and any movies by those directors, I don't know the name of those directors, but the people who directed The Conjuring have made a lot of horror movies and I love their their cinematography, like their camera work, it's so cool. Alright, Purple Rupee, I'll take it. Filling our, filling our wallet up. I'm trying to think of some things we need to buy during this ROM hack. I guess like we gotta play mini games and such. <laughs> Jump! Jump on it! Wait, how do we get up there? I forget how to get up there. Oh, I know. It's actually really weird. So, this staircase respawns whenever you leave this room. It goes back up. And what you have to do is you have to, once you activate that platform towards the end of the temple, that goes all the way up to the top of the room, you have to ride that up and then backtrack to the whole entire temple and come back here and take the stairs up whenever they're at the very top. It's kind of an interesting goal skulljula, if I do say so myself. Also, in this room we have another quick shortcut and I can just not even use the ladder, just jump right on up. I'm liking it. And also something else I wanted to mention real fast is, ooh, don't hit me, fire keys. Is, there's another randomizer for this game called the Ocarina of Time text randomizer. And I made a video about it on my channel last week where I looked at funny pictures from it. But what it does is it takes all of the dialogue from Ocarina of Time and it randomizes it so you can get like funny commentary situations and if you want to check out my video I read some pretty funny ones it's really weird like seeing characters say things they don't normally say and sometimes they just don't quite add up and I love it dang it Link you were supposed to grab onto the edge of glory come on and I'm hanging on a moment with you I wonder if Lady Gaga will ever go back to her really interesting pop style. I don't really like late new Lady Gaga. I liked her quite a bit back in the day. Oh! Add it to the counter. I'm not too upset. I can't be. We've gotten too many good things this episode. I have no right to be upset. So, I'm gonna take a quick shortcut right here. If you get at the right angle with this jump, you can grab this ledge if you do a roll. Oh. Okay, nice. Second try. I'll take it. Now here's the chest that normally holds the bomb bag. Hopefully we get at least one good item in this dungeon. Nope. <laughs> Recovery heart. There's a couple more treasure chests. There's one up here. I think there's two more treasure chests in this dungeon. One's gonna have the map, and the other one will have something random. And we got a dungeon map. Okay. So the last chest is going to be randomized. Go ahead and put some bombs into these eye sockets. I've never fully understood how this opens up the mouth. I don't know what kind of like future primitive technology they were using, but it's pretty neat. I wonder who made the Dodongo Caverns. Did the Gorons develop this or who? Or did the Dodongos develop it for themselves? My guess is that it used to be like the old Goron city, but then the Dodongos took it over. No wait, don't the Dodongos come in here to get their food? Like, isn't that the whole, like, plot line for Dodongos Cavern is the Gorons are starving and you have to come in here and defeat the Dodongos to get the food out? Something along those lines. Ouch. Bonk. Alright, so we have another shortcut in here as well. 
We don't have to go around. I think we're able to just... Yeah, I can't believe Link is able to make that jump. It does not seem like Link should be able to, but he can, so I'll take it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this fairy real fast. I don't think we'll need it. Well, we might. When I've been, I've been doing a playthrough of this randomizer as well, a separate one on Twitch, because I've been practicing for the verses Josh and I are gonna do of this. And I keep on dying to some of the adult Link bosses, like Phantom Ganon, Volvagia. Wasn't having the best luck for whatever reason. I'm trying to remember if we can even get this Skulchula right now. If we need the boomerang. I think we might need the boomerang for Well, we have the boomerang, but. Oh, no, we don't. Awesome. So we have the boomerang, but Adult Link can't use it. Which I've never understood. Why can't Adult Link use the boomerang? That's such a weird concept. <laughs> In the slingshot, too. It doesn't, there's no like proper explanation as to why Link can't use those items as an adult. Is it because those are kid items? An adult can't be seen playing with children toys? Must be something along those lines. Alright, we've already been in this dungeon for seven and a half minutes, so we're a little bit over time in my five minute estimation, but it's okay. I'm trying to be kind and fast forward all the really tedious stuff so you guys don't have to watch all the boring parts about this game. I'm trying to make this series as concise as possible so you guys can be thoroughly entertained. Alright, here's the last chest in the dungeon. Oh nice! Another bottle! I can't believe we have three of the bottles now. That's going to come in handy when we get to the ice cavern. We'll be able to bottle up a lot of blue fire all at once. Now is anybody watching this series? that has never played Ocarina of Time before? Because if you are, you're probably very confused by this whole entire thing. I doubt it. I don't think anybody who's never played Ocarina of Time would even click on this series, or at least watch it this far into it. They'd probably be like, all right, I have no idea what's going on. Like, a randomizer is really for Zelda fans who are very knowledgeable about the game. All right, King Dodongo shouldn't take too long because we have the Master Sword, and that really speeds things up. A couple of jump attacks and he should be dead, yeah. Got some indigestion, buddy. You need some Tums. No, I'm sorry. It's so bad. He ends up pretty much just killing himself, honestly. He just rolls into the lava and, you know, shrivels up and dies. Poor guy. You know, it's really weird. If you step on the lava as Link, he just walks across it. But King Dodongo sinks all the way in. So that leads me to believe. Is Link lava Jesus? Hmm. Okay, piece of heart. I'll take it. And we're about to get our first medallion or emerald. So all the medallions and these uh, spiritual stones are randomized as well. Normally we get the Goron Ruby, but we got the shadow medallion. All right. Now, we want to try to get the forest and water medallion as soon as possible because once we get those, we get the Nocturne of Shadow. Because you need all three of those medallions to to activate the cutscene where she gets thrown around by the invisible bongo bongo. Okay, now I'm going to go up to Goron City real quick because there's quite a few chests we can get up there. Okay, coming into Goron City, there's a couple things we can do in here. There's a room towards the back that has three treasure chests inside of it, so we'll go and get that. And then we have Link the Goron rolling around, which I guess his name is Ira since he's named after your character. And we'll try to stop him as well. I kind of wanted to wait until I got Bomb Shoes to stop him because it's way easier to stop him when you have Bomb Shoes. Oh shoot. Hmm. I wonder if we have enough bombs to get through here. We only have seven. I'm going to try to take the quickest path as possible. Oh nope, we can't even go that way. Well darn. I'm not sure if we can even get all three chests. We might only be able to get two right now. If we can even get there. Hopefully five bombs is enough. We're about to find out. Okay, it is. And yeah, we can only get two chests. We need the Mega Ten Hammer to get to the other one. But yeah, these are the stones. What are these called? The statues when I gaze pierces into your mind. I forgot their names. Are they the Sheikah stones? Hopefully I'm right. Or else I'm going to look like the worst Zelda fan ever. Some Deku nuts. Mm. Nut. 
And last but not least, a blue rupee! <laughs> Yay! Okay, let's go ahead and get out of here. Do I want to try to stop? I'm not going to try to stop the rolling Goron right now because I don't think I can do it with two bombs. And I'm just going to save the bombs for something else. Um, I want to try to get to the top of Death Mountain so we can talk to the Great Fairy up there. But I'm not sure if we have enough bombs to do that. So it's alright. We'll find something else to do. I guess the next thing we could do is go turn back into Child Link and go to Zora River and do some stuff there and then go to Lord Jabu Jabu. That wouldn't be a terrible idea. And we could also get a lot more of the Skulljula tokens now that we have the boomerang. I'm trying to decide what the quickest... Wait. I hear another Skulljula. Where is it? Oh, it must be underneath this rock, which we can't break unless we have the Megaton Hammer. It's okay. Alright, to end off this episode, I'm gonna break open a couple of these grottos and get the treasure chest inside of them. Wait, what? Why did that not break? Well, never mind. I guess we're just gonna break into one of the grottos. That bomb was right next to the rock. I have no clue why it didn't break open. That's so dumb. I'm kind of pissed off now. <laughs> Hopefully we get bombs. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't believe I just called that. We got bomb shoes. Close. Not the same exact thing. And now I can use these to easily stop the Goron in Goron City. I think the underground grottos in Hyrule Field are kind of dumb, but I understand that you find them using the Stone of Agony. Or I guess the ones I'm talking about are the ones that don't have an indicator of where they are. Like the one over by this tree. There's no way to know where it is until you, unless you get the Stone of Agony and then just walk around Hyrule Field until you feel the vibration. But I guess to be fair, it is next to one of the only trees in a huge section of Hyrule Field. But still. I don't think it's that obvious. Alright. We have to just hold the bomb. We have to let it blow up in our hands. Sorry, Link. You're about to lose your hands. You're gonna get some PSD from this game. Wait, hold up a second. I just said PSD. I meant to say PTSD. PSD means Photoshop document. I don't think Link is gonna get a Photoshop document from blowing up his hands. From this randomizer. But it's alright. Oh wait, no, we can't get this. We need the iron boots to sink down and get it. Alright, never mind. I lied to you guys. Well, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a big ol' thumbs up. And I will see your sexy faces in the next episode. Mean, but they're rolling with us. Don't intervene. Ugh. You know we're acting wild, looking so bizarre. People rolling with us cause we are who we are. So come party with us if you wanna jam. If you get a, if you get a head, bop that.